Hi, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for August to Aquarius. Okay. The Nine of Wands. The Moon. The Ace of Swords. Let's see what's underneath. Oh my gosh. And I can't help, but I'm seeing this, and I know that's the Queen of Pentacles. I think she wanted to be seen. So I'm putting this out there, and I'm cutting it right there because she was sticking out. Oh, and I'm seeing this one. Right here, the two swords. So Gemini, Aquarius, Libra may have some significance. Um... But I'm getting, um, obviously, with the full card, we have Aries. I also feel Cancer and Pisces uh, may be of importance. Some of you are definitely at a crossroads, and I feel like this is decision time of what to do. So this can be regarding work. This can be regarding uh, a marital situation, as I was speaking of, or a love relationship where somebody's not married. Um, but you're trying to, you know, uh, uh, talking about out with the old, in with the new, the full card, the, the zero is the very beginning of the fool's journey. And... There's infinite options that you have laying in front of you. So weigh your risks versus your rewards with a situation because the full card can sometimes be a bit reckless. So you just want to choose wisely. But I do get the new, you know what I'm also getting that back to this pregnancy that there may be twins that somebody doesn't know, they, or they know they're pregnant, but it's going to end up being twins. That's another thing that I'm getting. The other thing I'm getting here is clear across, like, the world. Um, some of you are deciding, I'm getting uh, where to put your time and energy and effort in. Um, I feel like there have been some things that have been a battle and there's secrets, quite a bit of secrets going on. And I feel like it's important to listen to your intuition in August. Um, some of you, I think, are traveling quite a bit and you're working very hard. Um, money is coming in at quite an abundant rate for, for some of you. And I think that some of you are trying to decide where to invest, whether it's your time and energy or your money. And I'm getting something overseas. So I feel like somebody is investing overseas. Uh, another way I'm looking at this is just where to, where you want to put your time and effort into people in your life, whether, you know, I'm going to pay attention to them or not pay attention to them. Um, but I do get that there's, I feel like there's something about communications. We got the Ace of Swords here. So this is the potential for new beginnings. And new schools of thoughts, new ideas. It's also becoming victorious um, or in the process of being victorious. So, but it's new ideas. Um, could also represent, as I said earlier, Gemini, Aquarius, and or Libra. And I also feel like you're waiting to hear news about a situation. And this may be going back to the court system. But you're weighing your options, I feel like. Do I go on just like this card, being at a crossroads? Do I go this way or do I go down this path? Do I want to be with this person or do I want to be with this other person? Because I'm getting something about, again, out with the old and with the new. I feel like some of you are deciding whether or not to end a love relationship and I feel like the other person may be on the other 
side of the world or another part of the state or another part of the country or, you know, outside your, your vicinity. And some of you may have already made the decision to end something. And I feel like somebody is still kind of not happy that you ended something. And I feel like they're, they may not quite be returning, but they're kind of watching from afar. Like maybe they're watching your social media or seeing what you're up to. Uh, because I get like restraint. There may even be a restraining order on this person is um, another thing that I'm getting. Okay, that's interesting. I'm getting, um, this sounds, uh, this is coming out of the blue, but I'm getting pooling or pooling of resources. I'm also seeing a swimming pool. So I feel like somebody is deciding to save up money and is actually considering like putting in a pool or maybe there's a pool already going in and I mean like a swimming pool in the backyard is how this is uh, coming across to me. But there are definitely decisions to make and I feel like for some of you it's not so black and white. I feel like you're you're with these swords here you know, the sword cuts both ways. And I feel like your your mind says one thing, but your heart is, pu is pulling in a different direction. And so it's kind of left you a bit indecisive. There's a need to kind of go within, go within on a very spiritual level, maybe meditation or yoga or something that will... Pay, okay, I'm hearing pay attention to your dreams and even writing or journaling. It might even be automatic writing that may be helpful for you to uh, figure out what direction to go in. But be careful of getting too much in your head and feeling, <clears throat> excuse me, feeling a bit overwhelmed in that way. Um that's another message that's coming through. I also feel that some of you are considering on uh, uh, travel, and I'm getting this could be work-related, but I'm being led to three different places, which is interesting. I'm getting India, I'm getting Japan, and I'm also getting the Southwest, a Southwest direction. So in America... This could be like New Mexico, Utah, Arizona, those types of places in a southwestern direction or western, could even be northwestern. And maybe this is Northwestern University in the United States. Somebody is preparing for school is another message that I'm getting. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I will talk to you soon. Bye.